Welcome to the Frugal Family. My name is Julie, and as a dumpster diver, there are many times where we have to go dumpster diving before the sun has come up or long after it has gone down in order to avoid people, employees, etc. And when I use an action cam, it's really dark and I don't have necessarily an added light source and sometimes even with the cell phone camera it's just not quite enough and doesn't make for an ideal quality of video. So today we are going to try out my latest investment which is an LED headlamp that appears to be pretty good quality based on the reviews. Well let's go ahead and open it up and review it ourselves and see what we think. Here it is, it came in the mail from Amazon and it was a super quick delivery. I literally ordered it the night before and it was there the next morning. I couldn't even believe it, so cool. So this one is called the Elm Chi Rechargeable uh, Headlight and I believe it's uh, LED. Let's go ahead and open it up. We've got our user's instructions. Got our USB cord. Rechargeable batteries. These are ginormous. It's like a couple of double A's got super sized. I'm not sure what size they actually are. The voltage of full charge and cutoff on discharge is, oh, okay, so they're like 2 volt or 3.65 volt. Anyway, that is not necessarily important. All right, here we go. That is a pretty powerful looking, very serious looking little setup of lights. There is the case where the batteries will go. We will get those put in and then we'll turn it on. So your basic head mount, top strap, side straps, and then there's the, the connecting cord to power up your lights. It is adjustable as you would expect. Feels pretty, pretty sturdy. Now, of course, we will see after we've been using it, dumpster diving, which is what we got it for, we will see how long it stays nice and, and sturdy and uh, flexible. I'm really hoping that this elastic doesn't wear out too fast. We have had that happen with some other things like this, uh, including one other headlight. So hopefully this will be good and durable, but uh, we'll do an update video after we've been using it for a couple of months and we'll let you know how that's working out. All right, let's go ahead and put the batteries in and see how this sucker lights up. Now, I don't know if this needs to be charged first, these batteries, but let's find out. All right, I'm, gonna, I'm wondering, guys, how secure this is gonna be. Because on its own, when the batteries are in there, it won't just shut all the way. You see that? And this little locking mechanism comes open super easy. And where we will be using this dumpster diving, where we are constantly moving and things are getting banged around, I don't know. I'm going to tell you, I'm a little bit nervous about that, but we shall see. We shall see. All right, how do we turn this on? Oh, woo! <laughs> Whoa, hopefully I didn't blind you guys just by turning that on. That is super simple. There's just a little button right here on the top. I like how easy that is, and it is super bright right away without having charged it. Oh my goodness. Okay, that is definitely going to be helpful when we are out there in the early morning hours before the sun has come up. Yeah, that's fantastic. But let's go ahead and try it outside where it's still early morning and quite dark. I am not using the camera light. I am only using the light from this headlamp. Guys, that is fantastic. Oh, this is this is gonna be a game changer. This is, oh, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. It is super duper bright. Now, what I wanna see is does it do any other modes or is it just the super bright? Let's find out. Okay, so I clicked it once, it went a little different. Now, oh, oh, and it has a strobe. We won't be using that. So we've got one, two, three, strobe, and off. 
That is great. That is good to know. If you ever need a strobe while you're wearing your headlamp, you've got one. I plugged in the charging cord just into a regular USB outlet that I had and it just goes here on the side there is just a little tab that you open and it plugs in right there and then when I was doing that I also noticed that there is a power button right there so you can turn the whole battery pack on and off which will then I guess disable this let's find out well maybe let's stop charging it before we do that that might affect it okay Plus, then I can show you, there's the little tab. So, push the power button. Oh, oh, well, okay. Hmm. But then, with the power button off, or, okay, now it's blinking. All right, now it's off, that's weird. It still turns on, so someone explain that for me, if you could, in the comments. Why? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe it's just it already has some power to it, but then when you need the backup power, you turn it on. If you guys can help me to clarify that, that would be fabulous. All right, so next we are going to try this on. That is the last and final thing before we take it out dumpster diving this Sunday to give it a real world test. But we first wanna see how comfortable it is to actually wear. Finally, we are going to try it on. Now, keep in mind that when I am dumpster diving, I will generally have either a hat, a visor, a beanie, or um, a bandana on. And having my hair up like this, it's probably not conducive to this, but I do wear my hair up generally when I'm dumpster diving, either that or I will have braids. Let's see. Let's just see. I'm going to loosen it a little before trying it. There is an adjustable part right here and then also right here. So let's go ahead and make it loose and then we can tighten it from there. Oh, this is cool. So I just realized that, look at that. <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. It, it isn't just stuck right here. So if I'm kind of looking this way, but I want my audience to see what's down there. <laughs> okay, I'm super excited. That is really, really cool. And pretty comfortable. I have a big head, okay? I have a big head and it feels all right. Now I do have it stretched out to the absolute limits and I've also got it over my, my hair right here with the, the battery pack back here, it it is starting to feel a little snug and that is a problem that, that we run into with any kind of head mount gear is that, yeah, it starts hurting. We'll, we'll see when we're actually using it in the dumpsters this Sunday because once you're going and you're doing the work and, and the adrenaline, you know, all of that or whatever activity you happen to be involved in, but of course we are specifically focused on dumpster diving. Um, but once you get busy doing things, you might not notice it as much. I don't know. We, we will see. But so far, I would say at, at the extreme, having it all the way stretched out, you know, all the way extended on my big head, <laughs> it, it feels all right. It feels all right. It's not like, like just, it doesn't feel like it's crushing my head, which some things do, you know. Uh, and this, this is great. That has me super excited. One thing I am interested to see, and of course we will do an update video several months from now, I wanna see how durable uh, this little mechanism is and see if it stays, uh, you know, stiff the way it is. Um, I don't, it would not do us any good if this got, you know, all loose and was just kind of flopping around. That would not be good, okay? So hopefully it will uh, be durable. We shall see. Same with the straps. Now, honestly, with kind of how snug it is, I do hope that they do kind of loosen up a little, but not so much that it starts getting, you know, to where it just really doesn't hold. I have a similar head mount that, that holds like the action cam or it can hold like a cell phone. And it's gotten to the point where it's just stretched out just a little bit too much so that whatever it is that's on your head kind of bounces around, which is not ideal. So definitely we will check back in a few months and, and kind of see how it has held up with our weekly dumpster diving. All right, I'm gonna say so far, just based on these 
preliminary things, the ease of use. Um, there was really nothing to figure out. You just had to put the batteries in and then turn it on. Uh, this, that is a great feature. It does feel very secure. Um, this little cord here on the side that, you know, connects it to the battery pack, that could get annoying. If I was wearing a hat, it might not bother me as much because it probably wouldn't, you know, be rubbing against my ear. But I can see how that could get a little a little annoying. Maybe just clip it up, you know, with a bobby pin or just a little barrette. We'll see how that goes and, and if it really bugs me. But at the moment, yeah, it, it's a teeny bit annoying. So on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, just based solely on this, the preliminaries, okay? How it fits. Ease of use. The shipment, so quick. And the apparent quality, the brightness, which is fantastic. I'm going to say a tentative 7.5 out of 10. So definitely we'll be using it this Sunday. If you watch our dumpster diving videos, and even if you don't, go ahead and come along and see if you notice a difference, see what you think, and you'll get an idea of, of how we're liking it and how it's working out for dumpster diving this Sunday as we get into those dumpsters. My name is Julie. Thank you so much for coming along for this product review. There will, of course, be a link for it to Amazon where we bought it in the video description. Have a great day. We'll see you all for another review and other dumpster diving and frugal living related adventures real soon. Bye-bye.